Hi, guess what? It's Friday again, and we are going to be talking about <sighs> the ultimate, like, hot button topic pornography. Oh, we get a lot of questions oh, yes. from women who feel insecure, and we got a lot of questions from men about why they are drawn to pornography. So, I thought we should just hit this topic. I just want to start off by saying I would never push to censor pornography. No. And I have a lot of mixed feelings about it because the big problem is that today people are referring to it as sex education. That's the problem. That's why and we're here to and create a product yes. that's independent because pornography is entertainment. Entertainment, not education. Okay. Is porn bad for you? Bad for whom? Uh, if bad for you to watch, anyone in general. Well, we've covered some of the concepts of if you use it as sex education, it will not be in sufficiently informative. But as entertainment... To get you hot. Yeah, yeah. It works, and it it's does. not bad for you. No, because all you're going to end up doing is getting turned on and masturbating and having an orgasm. Now, I would support that. A hundred percent. So it's not bad for you. So if you enjoy it as a man or a, man or a woman, mm -hmm. enjoy it. Yes. Get hot off it. But don't think, don't follow the blow by blow. Like, <laughs> don't, don't think that you have to look like that or that you have to perform that way mm -hmm. or that this is reality. It is not reality. I saw some of your podcasts and decided to try to masturbate while watching porn. Now I feel silly and stupid for doing it and for watching porn. Is this normal? And this is from a woman. So she has oh. um, porn watching remorse. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like buyer's remorse. <laughs> That's very cute. Well, y you know how I feel about guilt. It's the worth. It's the most worthless yeah. thing on the planet. It's Scrape it off your plate, girl. Get rid of it. No, there's no, I feel badly about it. Why? What harm was done? You had to, did you have an orgasm? Well, she feels silly, like she feels like she got caught doing something as a woman. She shouldn't like porn and she watched and she got hot and now she feels stupid. I would say do it again until you get over feeling stupid. Or guilty, or whatever. She, oh, guilty. She's feeling guilty. And no. a little shame. No, no, no. There's. I mean, I don't actually seek it out, but every now and then, if it comes across, oh, yeah, I get lost in it. I get lost in it. <laughs> when I was a lawyer, I used to have these two porn clips that I would watch if I was taking a conference call with a big company, and I need to ease off and not be so nervous because I was like the only chick on the phone at the conference call, and it was a scene with Janine, who's one of my favorites. And that hot blonde chick that was um, living with Jenna Jameson for a while, they were together, they were always on Howard, and it was basically five chicks going crazy on Janine. Now, usually Janine is the one giving the women the orgasms, and in this one, they all would go into town, and I would just put that on, and I would Woo! sit back, and it would take the edge off. whoop de doo <laughs> My husband looks at beautiful women and porn a lot on the internet. He'll even look at a woman and porn after we've had sex. I'm insecure about this. I'm talking more than once a day. I told him I wouldn't spy on him anymore, but I can't help it. So she's oh, caught in the spying cycle. This is really a tough one. Uh, it's it is so it is so destructive to both of them for her to be doing this. Uh, it's like the forbidden fruit always tastes more delicious. <laughs> and if you're you know, and if you think, oh, I wonder if she's watching me back. Some and then really fast, he's yeah. tricking off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let so, me just say that he's like minimize, minimize. <laughs> Really, it's uh, now the the other thing is is that I have to I have to speak up for the women that it's it's not easy. It's not easy. I mean, I'm compete. speaking as an older woman that it, you know, I can't compete with your no. generation. No. And when I was your in your generation, I couldn't compete with porn because I didn't have all of the attributes that are that are fashionable. It's like looking at. Uh, let's let's reverse it. Let's say she had an addiction to looking at fashion magazines. Now, how many women do that? Mm -mm. I had. I was totally addicted yes. to porn. I mean, to Vogue as my porn. And I, and I really, I couldn't wait to get the next issue. And you can never look like that. You and I look at these never have six foot tall, you know, 90 pound. And, and they always look fabulous. You know what I mean? They've had the hair and the makeup for And hours. I would pour over it and I would look at it and I would say, oh, it's so beautiful. And then I would fantasize me in the outfit looking like that, <laughs> which is a little unrealistic. <laughs> And this is what the guys are doing. They're fantasizing, you know, having sex with this beautiful model. Uh, another thing we could look at is that the reason there's so much masturbation going on between couples is depending on the length of time they've been together, yes. is that we're not really looking at the source of the problem, which is the lack of skill in partner sex. So that 
you know, it becomes not, repetitive. He's not getting what he wants. She's not getting what he wants. And everyone's wants. scared to say. There's a little tension here, and it's so much easier to go fire up your computer, get a hot chick who's just going to do, do whatever you, you want. your fantasy, and then you get off. So I have said to women, at least he's home. You know that he's safe. That's true. He's not getting a disease. You're not going to get an STD. And he, so just, you know. Let it go. And in, and if the guys could have just a little more sensibility, just a little more sensitivity about not throwing mm -hmm. it in, in her face. Yes. And, rubbing and, it in. Like and, watching porn right after you've had sex with your girl. That's, that's really bad. That's trashy. Poor taste. <laughs> Wait till we have the new porn. Yes. Which is Dodson and Ross teaching sexual skills up close and personal. It's going to be hot erotic sex education and we know that's the new porn that's the new porn so you can watch a clip with your partner and then you can yes. try out yes that skill and technique and stop and go back and look and pick up on what you missed etc so i think it's time to replace the old porn yes with the new porn which is female based and it will be teaching people sexual skills because the whole point is we want to get better at sex we don't want to mm -hmm. just be able to masturbate and that's all. We want to evolve sexually. We want to have good sex with partners.